A woman is fighting to get her money back from a Donna auto repair shop tonight. She took her car in for a simple oil leak. Now, two years later, she says her car is in worse shape than ever. She called Five on your side for help. Channel 5's Anna Antiano looked into the issue. Anna. Emma Solis hasn't driven her car since the day she dropped it off for repairs. That was in April 2014. Fed up, she took the auto shop owner to civil claims court and won a $10,000 judgment. But we found out she may never get to see any of that money. This 95 North Star Cadillac may not look like much, but it's all Emma Solis has to get around. Now, it's had. It had an oil leak. I took it to Joe's auto repair shop. What Solis thought would be a quick fix to a leak has turned into a two year long mess. This is how he left my car after $6,000 worth of work. Possum, all the parts are missing. The radiator's gone, everything's gone. Solis claims the car is in worse shape than what she left it in. This is what he left me. The junkyard won't even give me $300 for my car. That's a $39,000 car. Fed up with dodged phone calls, texts, and visits, Solis took owner Joe Cruz to small claims court. She won a $10,000 judgment. Cruz's disappearing act continues even after that April court judgment. This is junk now. It is totally junk and that is very unfair. Joe's auto repair shop has since shut down. We found Cruz at his new place of business, J&M's auto repair in Donna. He told us he's working on getting Solis the money. So in the six months that the judgment was awarded, how, how much do you have right now? Uh, not really, because we had to move from the business over there. The business was very slow. We wanted to know what people in the same situation as Solis can do to collect money from a court judgment. Ezekiel Reyna tells us there aren't many options. It is really difficult in the state of Texas to be able to collect a particular type of judgment on certain individuals. Reyna says that's because of legal loopholes in the state of Texas. You cannot, in the state of Texas, for example, garnish wages. You cannot uh, take their rural estate, which is basically their homes. And that becomes really difficult to collect. So they'll just move on their business to a different names or stuff like that. And the, and the law protects that, that particular new corporation. Mm -hmm. You sued the old corporation. And that's exactly what Solis says Cruz has done. I've gone to an attorney because there's nothing they can find under his social security number. Solis is now left with Cruz's. Uh, I will say como para February. Final words. Again, Cruz did tell us he would have that full judgment amount for Solis by February. We'll keep checking in. Live in the Channel 5 News Studio on Anguiano, Channel 5 News at 6.